<laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> well, the South Bend Blue Sox, they were part of a league of their own. The All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in the 1940s and 50s that paved the way for women in sports. Yeah, the women's league ended in 1954, but one South Bend Blue Sox player, pitcher Betsy Jockham, is still living in the city to this day and she just turned 103 years old. ABC 57 social media manager Jenna Stopsinski shares her incredible story. Happy birthday, dear Betsy. Former South Bend Blue Sox player Betsy Jockham turned 103 Thursday and her friends threw a party. 103, what does that feel like? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have to try it out first until you know how it feels? I'm just glad I'm still here. <laughs> Betsy was one of the first members of that original 1943 team for, of the South Bend Blue Sox. So she, has a, she holds a lot of history with the Blue Sox and the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. What was it like to find out you were going to play oh, professional nice. baseball? <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> yeah. Were you shocked? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty confident. Yeah. I've known Betsy for 20 years, and since then, um, our relationships have just continued to be wonderful. Of course, we have an exhibit on the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League at the History Museum, and Betsy has, through all those years, she has always been so willing to talk to reporters or be part of a program, talk to the guests. Um, it's. It, she just was willing to share her experience and she was a teacher in the South Bend school system for many many years. She was my seventh grade gym teacher but we started going to breakfast about 10 years ago. It's amazing how talented she is. She was a real good teacher, rather strict but she plays golf, she's always been really active. I remember when the History Museum um, worked to achieve a historical marker by Playland Park, um, where they, the South Bend Blue Sox played for a number of years. And Betsy was there, of course, when we dedicated the, the plaque and just the proud moment when she was able to say, um, I stood right here and, and pitched that season or that game. And so um, she, is, she has been a, a real trailblazer, um, but just always an extremely nice person um, and loving sports. So that's great. You ready for chocolate chocolate cake? <laughs> <laughs> The best kind, right? <laughs> so I want to buy it myself. What a great story. What a great woman. Yeah. Well, you can visit the History Museum in South Bend if you'd like to learn more about Betsy, the Blue Sox, and of course the league. Yeah, they're actually the national repository for the All American Girls Professional Baseball League. That's where all the memorabilia is, and they've had a permanent exhibit there for the last 20 years. Worth checking out.